with a shorty playing in the front yard of the crib. I fell down and I bumped my head. Somebody helped me up and asked me if I bumped my head. I said, yeah. So then they said, oh, so that means you're going you gonna to switch it on them. I said, yeah, flip mode. Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Floating Head. Today we are going to learn about Google Advanced Searching. This is something that will come in very handy for you guys for the rest of your lives. Advanced Searching is a very, very important tool. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to Google's homepage, www.google.com. Then you are going to go down into the search bar and you're going to type in Advanced Search. And once you type in advanced search, go ahead and click search. And then you'll click the top thing there which says advanced search. So when you get there, you're going to see that there's numerous different categories where you guys can search. There's um, with all, exact phrase, none of these words, and some of these words. The first search we're going to do is um, for a place called Atlantis Continent. And as we search for this, you guys are going to see... Um, the number of hits up there, um, and I believe it's in the in the three millions um, is is where those hits are. Then um, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to come down here into the none of these words section, and the none of these words section is uh, a very important uh, searching feature. I use it all the time. Um, basically, what it does is it will prevent any websites uh, from coming up that have those words in it. So with Atlantis Continent, there's a, um, with the search we're doing, there's a space shuttle called Atlantis. Um, there's a movie um, about Atlantis. And so when we go to none of these words, we're going to put shuttle, film, and movie in the none of these words section because we don't want websites with those words to come up because we're interested in Atlantis Continent, not the space shuttle and not the movie about Atlantis. Um, so you guys can think, you know, numerous times when you search for things, I know when I search for things, um, I'll get a bunch of annoying websites that, that are popping up, maybe even Facebook pages or YouTube things, and that's not what I'm interested in right now. So in the none of these words section, I could put YouTube or Facebook, and it will prevent any website with the word Facebook or YouTube in it from coming up, which then eliminates YouTube and Facebook. So um, that's, that's the first search that we kind of uh, are, are messing around with. And you'll see when we do none of these words with shuttle, film, and movie, we get a significantly less um, amount of hits, which is a good thing when you guys are searching for things. You want less. You don't want more. Um, we want our searches to be narrow um, and more refined. So um, that's that. Now let's go to um, uh, another search feature, which happens to be one of my favorites. It's the exact word search and the exact word search um, what it does and, and I think you guys will like this um, you can use this outside of school um, for things that you guys might be interested in like music I know a lot of you guys like music um, if you've ever heard a song on the radio right and you can't um, get your phone out in time to use the cool Shazam act uh, or app get the get the to use the Shazam app and you try to pull it out and you, you hit Shazam on there and it, and it doesn't work, right? And you're like, ah, Shazam it! Um, which kind of sounds like a bad word. So um, that's the word I use when I'm unable to uh, Shazam songs. Um, and you get frustrated, right? And, and so you remember parts of the song and you're like, oh, it went like this. And, and you're singing it to your friend. It's like, la, 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 la. and your friend's like, I have never heard that song before in my life. As long as you remember a phrase from the song, you can go type it in the exact phrase um, search field and what that will do is it only brings up websites that have the exact phrase you're typing in there so it's really important that you don't mess up any words if you mess up any words it might not work so um, let's try it the, the phrase I'm going to type in there is you cut me open and I and I want to see what it brings up and so let's hit search and oh there it is Leona Lewis Bleeding love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love. You cut me open. Oh. It's 
It's my jam. Anyways, love that song. Um, and so let's go back to the exact word phrase because sometimes you guys use this uh, and, and it doesn't work. For instance, let's say you hear a song, you're like, yeah, the song, it's really good. And it's like, da, 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 I love you. And, and so you go to the exact phrase search and you type in, I love you. Okay, do you think that's going to be a very good search? Let's think. I don't. I don't think it's going to be a very good search. And the reason is because that's a very common phrase. There are millions and millions of websites that have the phrase, I love you. Think of how many times you've written that on someone's Instagram page or Facebook page. I mean, I love you, so-and-so. You write it all the time. So that's not a good search. So when I type in, I love you, I'm going to get a huge number of results and I'm probably not going to find my song. Now, if I add more to it, like, I love you like a love song, baby. Let's do that search and see what happens. Oh, Selena Gomez. There we go. We found it. We found it right off the bat. Who sings the song? Now we know the song. Now we can go download it if we want to. Okay? Um, so that's the exact phrase search. Very cool. Now let's look into um, other search features. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, but you can also search for images. Um, so let's go to the image search. Now you're going to go up to image. And when you do that, things are going to pop up. Um, again, I just like to type in advanced search in the search field for images, you'll still see that, that nothing's really happening, so you need to go over. If you go over there to the right, you're gonna see a little um, like bolt, and you need to click on that bolt. And when you click on the bolt, um, you'll see something that says advanced search. So go ahead and click advanced search. You do that, and you're gonna see many of the same searching features for images. However, there's um, several other features that I think are actually pretty cool. Um, you can search for only large pictures or small pictures, which is pretty cool um, because sometimes you get tiny pictures and when you try to make them big, they're blurry. So why don't you just go ahead and search for big pictures so you know that they're going to be big and they're not going to be blurry when you, you know, try to make them bigger or smaller. Um, you can search for pictures that are only in color or only in black and white. Um, you can even search for just clip art or pictures of just people's faces. Like me, I'm just a face. If you just wanted to search for Mr. Mo and you only wanted face shots of me, bam, here's one. Um, so you can do that with images, which, which you know is pretty cool. So those are the image search. There's also down here um, under, under usage rights, you can search only for images um, that people are okay with you using um, in publications and things like that. Um, so you, you, know, you can go down and, and do that search. Another search we can do is um, for videos. We could do a video search. If you guys are wanting to look up videos, you can go up here to the top. Sometimes you have to go to more um, if it's not already listed up there and go down and find the video search, do videos. Again, we're gonna do an advanced search. I type that in. I have to go over here to the, the little bolt over here to the right, over there. So we're gonna go over there. We click on that and um, down drops uh, the advanced search box. We click on the advanced search box and here we are again with very similar video searches we can do. Now my favorite thing to do with video searches is you can click here and only search for videos that have been uploaded to the internet within the past day, the past hour I believe is on there as well, um, the past week, the past month, the past year, and that's a very helpful search if you're trying to look for recent um, topics or you know the most recent thing. You know if you go and type in you know presidential debate or presidential, presidential speech um, you're going to get a ton of results, but maybe there was just a debate or a speech last week, so you only want to find the ones that were uploaded within the past week. That will narrow your results significantly and increase your odds of finding that recent speech or debate that you just heard. Um, okay. So that wraps up our Google search. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I hope this advanced searching um, is something that you guys will use throughout your schooling careers all the way through college. That's enough from your talking head. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Booyah shakah!